Recently, Bernie Sanders was in Kansas, along with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, in order to help stump for progressives James Thompson and Brent Welder, who both have upcoming elections. And in his speech, Bernie talked about wages and women's rights. We have seen low-income workers in the fast food industry and elsewhere stand up and tell the country they cannot make it on a starvation minimum wage of seven and a quarter an hour. We've got to raise that minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. And that is precisely what is happening all over this country. States, communities raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. And when we talk about wages, we all know that it is not acceptable that women earn 80 cents on the dollar compared to men. And by the way, we happen to believe that it is a woman, not the government, who has a right to control her own body. Bernie talks about some important issues here. He talks about raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour, which is something that we really need to do. The minimum wage has been stagnant for a long time now, at a time when we have massive levels of income and wealth inequality in America. In fact, the middle and working class have even seen a significant portion of their wealth transferred to the people in this country who don't need the money, aka the wealthiest people in this country. So much so to the point that, as of 2016, the top 1% owns as much wealth as the bottom 80%, aka the middle and working class of this country. This is beyond messed up. There is no way the wealthy should own 90% of the country's wealth. And the minimum wage has played a big part in this. It has not kept up with the increase in American productivity. All the new wealth that is being generated in this country is going to the wealthy, and that's not fair. The middle and working class played their part in facilitating the increase in productivity. They should be able to share in the rewards as well. Did you know that, according to a recent report, that if the minimum wage had kept up with the increase in American productivity, that the minimum wage would be up to $19.33? That's a huge difference from the current $7.25 minimum wage we have right now. We need to raise the minimum wage, and we need to do so in a big way. Bernie also talks about pay equity for women. Bernie has it at women earning only 80 cents on the dollar compared to men. I still have it at 79, but regardless, this is a major issue we have to address. We are in the year 2018. We should be past this. It's embarrassing. And unfortunately, this is not even the worst statistic in terms of pay equity for women. Did you know that women only own 32 cents on the dollar compared to men? 32 cents. Like I said, this is embarrassing. Women deserve to earn every cent on the dollar that men do. Finally, Bernie talks about women having a right to control their own body, which is something I definitely agree with. Now, to me, abortion is a gray area, and I understand why people are uncomfortable with the concept, because when is a baby truly alive? When does life really begin? Like the idea of aborting when you can feel the baby's heartbeat and it kicking is something that I honestly would not feel comfortable with for myself if I somehow was in that position. But I'm not a woman, and this really is a gray area. I think this is a personal decision people have to make for themselves in terms of what they believe is right and what they believe is wrong. I do not think the government has a right to tell women what to do in this regard. Women have been discriminated against enough in our country as is. Hey guys, if you want to help out this show, you can follow our various social media links. Also, we have a Facebook group that you can join as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, you could do that as well. Alright guys.